Keep I am. Why are you such a plonker? That'll do. Welcome. Oh, look, you're not. No, oh, you leave, leave it filming. I am. T look, I can't keep doing it because you nearly run me over with that I bloody won't run thing. Me over. I'm trying to film track and don't say anything. Has it got a uh, sound on it? Yeah. Oh. Keep it aiming at me. I am. Welcome to Wildlife Watch. Wildlife Watch? But you're not. Well, now, this is a pigeon. Although in the book they've spelt it widgeon. I think that's a misprint. Anyway, the pigeon is largely grey with a white neck patch and white wing patches, clearly visible in flight. Although shy in the countryside, it can be tame and approachable in towns and cities. Its cooing call is a familiar sound in the woodlands, as is the loud clatter of its wings when it flies away. Now, pigeons can be found commonly on rooftops and roofs, in towns and in the parks and so on. Please note that the map is only intended as a guide. It shows general distribution rather than detailed, localised, popular ones. does go on a bit. I think you'll find they are widgeons. The spelling was in fact correct. You can find widgeons swimming up and down rivers in the continent of Africa. Now, that's where you can find widgeons. I'm going to try and catch one of these geese. Are they geese? Or swans? <laughs> what do you reckon they are? Oh, <laughs> fellas! Well, look, I hope they don't peck. Hello, fella. Oh, oh, hello, fella. Look. Are they geese? Oh, they just tried to peck me. What's that one he pecks? Hello, fella. <laughs> Here's a flock of deer I filmed earlier this year. And here I am, seeing if I can't get a bit closer. Let's see if we can't get a bit closer. Well... No, we can't. I've never seen this many ducks no. over here. Yeah, you get quite a few of them over here, especially when there's bread about. Yeah. See him? There you go. Yeah. There Got he him? is. There he is. Look at this. They're not very big, are they? No. Who'd have thought we'd have catch that lot? Yeah. You wouldn't have thought it, would you? You wouldn't, would you? You wouldn't have thought it. 20 years ago, you wouldn't have thought it. No. No. Definitely not. Do you reckon they like olives? I don't know. Keep it going, didn't you? I didn't bring any. Didn't you? Oh, f did you say it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Jesus, what a kid, isn't it? <laughs> you lunker. There's the other one, look. Where? There's one. Each side oh, of that. Oh, right, I've got him, yeah. They're really small, though, aren't they? They are, aren't they? I reckon they're the young, you know, that one. Throw some bait. Have you got any I bait? Got any. No, 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 at all. You didn't bring none? No. Well, I didn't expect to see these, did I? Oh, I can't. Oh, he's swimming! Is he? Oh, yeah. What was that? Something just scuttled through here. Let's see if we can't better. Get a bit closer. Ah, bloody holly. I don't think you'll find Buddy Holly in there. He was killed in a plane crash in 1959. Oh, I said bloody holly. Oh, dear. You scratched yourself. Yes, sharp. What are you looking for? Huh? What are you hoping to find? Something just scuttled through here. I very much doubt if anything scuttled through there. I, yes, I heard it. It's in here somewhere. With the noise you're making, 
You'll be lucky to find anything at all. You don't stand a chance. Nothing scuttled through there. Excuse me a minute. Now here are two species of bees. The honeybee, who we shall refer to here as group A, and the bumblebee, who are referred to as group B. This is to help clarify the distinctions between the two species, simply, hoping to avoid any possible confusion. Because group A can maintain a close relationship with humans, the behavior of honeybees has been well researched. Honeybees live in well-organized colonies and do not require hibernation. They are best known for their production of honey, which they store in wax combs inside nests. Honeybees are generally active during spring, when they go in search of plants from which to collect their nectar and pollen. From these two ingredients, they create honey, which humans have harvested for hundreds of years. Whilst group B are endearing and familiar insects, their animated behavior and deep buzz as they fly from flower to flower makes them a delight to watch. Sadly though, the bees, as in the letter B and not the creature, have been declining because of changes in agricultural practices and have largely removed flowers from the landscape, leaving the bumblebees with little to feed upon. For more detailed information about why bees need our help, click here. No, not that bit. Well, look at these little fellows. Now these are baby blackbirds. Now I don't want to make too much noise as they're probably tired and might want to settle down a bit. There, <laughs> you can see him yawn. I'm going to try and sing them to sleep. Go to sleep, little fella. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, little fella. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, little fella. Go to sleep, little fella. Go to sleep, little fella. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, little fella. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, little fella. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, little fella. Go to sleep, little fella. Go to sleep.